Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. I want to share with you a devotion today entitled "I Am Rich." I am rich. Philippians one nine says, "I pray that your love will overflow more and more, and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. One day we will live in a sinless and pure world." The new heaven and the new earth, where righteousness will dwell, but until then we are stationed by God on a corrupt planet where we are light in the darkness. But even here we can we can abound, we can be a blessing, we can grow, we can shine. Our attitude today should say, "I am abounding." I am very plentiful. God is good. Proverbs twenty eight twenty says, "A faithful person will be richly blessed. A faithful person will be richly blessed." Romans fifteen verse thirteen says, "May the God of all hope fill you all joy and peace as you trust in Him." So that you may overflow, rich, abound with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Second Corinthians eight seven says, "To us to excel, abound, and rich in everything, in faith and in speech, in knowledge, in diligence, and in your love, and to see that you excel in this grace also. We are to excel in every good work." In Second Corinthians nine verse eight, and Peter tells us that if we excel, abound, and rich in virtue, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love, we will never be barren or unfruitful in all things. Second Peter one verses three to eight. Now, if you excel, if you are rich. If you abound in Christ, when you grow and prosper with Christ in your life, when you grow to be like Him and be generous as Him and big-hearted as Him, you will confound the devil, astound the world, the world, expound the truth, and surround your environment with grace. One more time, if you excel, rich and abound in Christ, you will confound, you will confound the devil. You will astound the world, and you will expound the truth, and surround your environment with grace, amen. And people will see you different. You are different because you are Christ's sons and daughters in Christ, amen. Andrew Murray says, "Abounding grace have has abounding work for its aim. An abounding work needs abounding grace." As its source and strength, Amen. So you can be rich in doing good. You can be rich in your life to be a blessing. You can be rich in your attitude and the character and your life, so that people around you, when they come in contact with you, when they hear you, when they see you, they themselves will be blessed because you are rich in all areas in Christ and of Christ, Amen. You have a great day and be an influence that is positive to people around you, Amen. God bless you, Father. Bless the people. Have a great day in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. God bless.